Hey everyone, so I'm back with collection two from the Opry Art Inks collection. You guys know I was super excited about getting my hands on number two. So, so far I have from one to 12, but today's video will consist of seven to 12 since I already showed you guys collection one, which was one to six. So if you'd like to see more about the colors that came in this collection and my thoughts and opinions, keep on watching. So as promised, I am back today with the second collection from the Opry Art Inks collection. So this is collection number two as I stated. So I'm really excited because my goal is to eventually own all of the art inks that they come out with. So let's take a look at these ones. So the first color that I'll be starting off with is number seven, which is purple. And of course you guys know it's my, fa my favorite color. I also forgot to mention that I already went in and applied a white base and a matte top coat to the swatch stick so I won't have to do that on screen for you guys. I thought I had push record guys, sorry about that. And here we have purple number seven. I love this color. So this one is a bit darker than the purpley one that was in the first collection that I shared with you, which I will have linked in the description box for you, as well as in the cards for you as well. So this one is a bit darker. The other one had like more of a pinky undertone to it, and it was a bit lighter. So the next color that I'll be sharing is number eight, which is blue. Here we have the blue number eight i love the art ink so much because they're very easy to use and there's no right or wrong way you could you could do like a watercolored look you could do a marbled look it really depends on what you want and the idea you have in your head but as you can see you can take away you can add color and then you can get some really cool lines and designs and patterns like this one and every time it comes out different well for me anyway but I think that's why I really, really love these two. Like, there's so many color combos you could use, and the designs are endless. And you can see what I'm talking about between these two. Like, the purple and the blue, two different looks. So, next up, we have number nine, which is Ocean. This looks like it's gonna be a lighter blue. And here is Ocean 09. 
So as you can see, initially I went in and I covered the whole nail with the arting. And then I just kind of went in and kept adding layers to it. Just because I knew this one was a bit lighter. And I wasn't sure how it was going to show up. But I still, like, this one I'm talking about, guys, do you see how easy this is? And how much fun it is to use these? And then just imagine blue and ocean together. Like, I think they would look so stunning. Like, just absolutely amazing. And the next color I have to share is green, which is number 10. <music> the green number 10 it is actually a bit darker in real life than it is showing up on my camera but it is still really fun like i love these you can't go wrong the second last art ink i'll be sharing is number 11 which is lime lime number 11 so again I did go in and cover the entire nail with the color and then I just went in and kind of did like a layered effect and like you can see the different dimensions that each line gives like honestly guys I keep saying that there's no right or wrong way but it's true there literally isn't a right or wrong way when using the art inks and the last art ink I will be sharing with you today is number 12 which is yellow so obviously this one is gonna be another light color number 12 yellow again so much fun and this is a lighter color so you might have to go in a couple of times in certain areas but it actually turned out better than i thought it was going to and here we have it for my review on the opera art inks collection number two so let me know what you guys thought about this collection i will have everything linked down below for you guys of course you guys know the purple one is my favorite but honestly i really like all of them they all work really nicely together i think this collection was very very well thought out and put together you could actually use 
a lot of these colors with one another. You could use the purple and the blue, purple and ocean. I'm not too sure about the purple and green, but like the purple and yellow, even the purple and lime. You could use blue and ocean, you could use blue, ocean, and green. Like all these colors work. You could even use green, lime, and yellow. Like, I think those three would work really nice together as well. So, again, let me know what you guys thought. Is there a favorite that you guys had? Which collection do you want me to do next? Do you just like for me to do them in order? So, I'll try to get collection three next, and then four, and five, and so on, and so on. As, as always, guys, thank you so much for sticking around with me and tuning into my videos. Please do give this video a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you know anyone that will be interested in this video, go ahead and give it a share. Until the next one, stay glamorous.